अरे तू समझता नहीं रही लोग तंग कर रहे हैं पानीपुरी गोलगप्पा रोलिंग हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्या वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वार शेफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टूडे वी विल लर्न टू मेक वन ऑफ इंडिया ग्रेटेस्ट स्नैक्स आई नो लॉट ऑफ फैमिलीज दैट मेक स्पेशल ट्रिप्स आउट इन द इवनिंग जस्ट बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट दिस स्नैक एट द स्ट्रीट कॉर्नर इट इज ऑल्सो ए फेवरेट स्नैक फॉर द रोड साइड रोमियोज बिकॉज इफ द गाय वॉन्ट्स टू चेज ए गर्ल जस्ट लाइक इन आवर हिंदी मूवीज नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल फाइंड इन हैंगिंग अराउंड दी स्टॉल्स येस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द पानी पूरी पुचका Golgappa, whichever name you know it by, the only thing about these street side golgappas is that it is a problem for chefs like me. Because when I went to catering college, they fed us so much about microbiology that when I see a food, there are too many things that get onto my head when I see some food. Whether it is cooked properly, how did they cook it, what kind of water they have used, is it safe to eat? So for chefs like me, it is always good. to be able to cook things like this at home so today i'm going to show you how to make this pani puri at home this pani puri is a hollow puffed round puri like shell the amazing thing about this pani puri is a simple three stage process the shell their stuffing and the tangy spicy water that they are dipped and eating today we're going to learn how to make this shells today i'm going to make this process very simple i have taken here one cup of suji Trust me, one cup of suji will make you almost hundred golgappas. So just start off with a small quantity if you are feeding just five six friends. And then in the suji, add very little salt. Just mix it and add some warm water. Okay, look at this. Okay, and then just mix it. You do not want to add too much water. You just want to add just enough water so that it becomes kind of grainy. So basically, these shells are made with suji, with good binding and gluten effect that comes from maida, that is all-purpose flour. Okay, you can see I added some warm water and it immediately absorbed all the moisture. So there is still some moisture here. We want to make this into a dough. So what we are going to do? We are going to add some maida. Do not add too much. This maida is just to absorb that extra moisture. Okay, it is still a little bit soft. So I'm going to add. Another half a teaspoon of maida, just one and a half teaspoon of uh, maida is good enough. Just knead the dough. You want to knead this dough very well because you want the gluten effect. Gluten makes this dough not tear when this puffs up in the hot oil. And one more thing about this dough is it should not be soft. It should be medium tight dough, and then knead it very well. Now that I have kneaded this dough for seven minutes, I'm going to add few drops of oil. Okay, and then knead the dough for another three minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to let this dough rest for at least 15-20 minutes. After that, we're going to make puris for the pani puri. Now that I have rested this dough for almost 20 minutes, I'm going to roll this dough very thin. So to roll this dough very thin, all you do is apply little bit oil on the table or the place where you're going to roll it, so that it doesn't stick because you don't want to use the flour. Start rolling. See how easy it is to roll. Okay, you want to roll this very very thin to cut this dough into nice roundels. You could use a real cutter, or else you can use the cap of any bottles. So here I'll make some little bit smaller, and then I'll make some little bit bigger. the next thing is frying so i'll use a bigger dough here just drop it and uh, let this puff up like magic see do you see that how they puffed up these are our golgappas okay i'm going to fry all the golgappas okay they all just blow up like balloons and you have to use little bit low flame not too hot for making golgappas always use refined oil and use 
fresh oil because you don't want these puris to absorb oil usually that happens when you are using older oil again and again so i've got here bunch of them so i'm just going to drop it. so you've seen how easy it is to make this um, golgappas now the second and third process is the stuffing as well as the tangy water we were to learn that in a different session the only problem is if you make at home i'll guarantee you you need 30 or 40 golgappas in one sitting you don't have to drop this golgappas one by one you can drop a lot at one time make sure that your pan is uh, big enough and uh, but make sure you fry them good you have to fry them in a medium heat so that when they come out they turn out crispy okay after you fry them do not cover them okay now the gold gappas are ready you got nice uh, pani puris make a nice hole and put any stuffing i love yogurt stuffing and a little bit of chana dal your potatoes and little bit of my chili sauce and then dip it in the pani mm bahut maza aa rahi hai i hope you have enjoyed to learn make this uh, puris for your golgappa and uh, now you can go ahead and try various combinations that can go extremely well with your golgappas remember that whatever is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you